Now let's talk about how to paddleboard. Paddleboarding is all about one word, and that word is? Balance. Balance. No, it's fun. Okay, it is all about balance. Balance when you get on your board. Balance when you're just, you know, standing there looking around. Be very cautious of your balance and your shifting of your weight. Like I was saying, I would suggest everybody start out on your knees so you get a feel for it. What you want to do is you want to be able to feel how the board feels on the water. You know, you want to get, you want to get kind of warmed up too. You don't, you don't want to be falling in this early on. So we're just going to start out on knees. If you guys are rock stars, jump up right away. Um, but all of us like to start out on knees. So when you get on your board, we're going to be launching right here. And you're going to be getting on here. It's all about having your feet, but right now your knees shoulder width apart. Okay, you wanna be directly, your center of gravity needs to be directly over the center handle. That's right there in the middle. This is where you're gonna get shoulder width apart, looking forward, and a couple strokes on each side. Once you get on there, kind of feel how it goes back and forth, feel it underneath you, how the water feels, and then just kind of get a couple strokes. You'll start to feel the paddle. You'll start to feel, okay, you know, I feel like a little bit confident. Um, and now once you're ready to stand up, it's just like a bike. With a bike, you're not just gonna sit on the bike and you're gonna be going. You're gonna have no balance. So what we wanna do is we wanna start with a little momentum. So once you get a couple strokes in and you're starting to go pretty fast or a moderate speed, put one foot up, then the other foot right there where your knees are. The wider, a little shoulder width apart. Now initially you wanna stand up. Do not lock your knees because, because when you lock your knees, you're not gonna be able to go against, you know, be able to balance. So a slight bend in your knees, you always want to be looking forward, okay? Look at the horizon, because if you look back, you're going to be shifting your weight, and then you're going to try to counter it, and then maybe fall off. Um, so shoulder width apart, slight bend in your knees, looking at the horizon, and this is where you're going to be paddling. So when you're paddling, the bottom hand is right here in the middle, top hand is up here. A lot of people might want to do this, it's going to be much easier if you have your top hand on the top of the paddle. So when you're looking forward, you want to lean forward and you want to get the entire blade in the water. You don't want to just go right here, right here, get the entire blade. It's about the quality of the stroke, not the quantity, okay? So once you do it, you're looking forward, dipping it all the way in and pulling it to yourself. It's not a lot of these hand motions right here. It's about the quality. So you, that's why paddleboarding is such a core all body uh, sport. From your feet, your, your feet might be getting a little sore because it's gripping, your legs are engaged, your core is engaged, and your entire back and your arms paddling. That's why it's such a great workout. So you're looking forward, dipping it all the way in, pulling it, dipping it, pulling it. We sit, suggest around two to three strokes on each side. So once you do that, switch sides, top hand up here, bottom hand in the middle, looking forward, pulling, pulling it like that. When you look down, your weight's gonna be shifting down. When you look back, your weight shifts back. So you always want to, these are all just best practices when you guys are first learning. Obviously, once you feel comfortable, you can look back, you can smile at the camera, yee! But for right now, just kind of go forward. A lot of people, when they paddle, they'll look at the paddle and go like this, but now my body is going right, is forcing down, and I don't know what's in front of me. If you do feel like you're getting, you're losing balance, what I want you to do is not stand up, not try to catch your balance. What I want you to do is slightly, as your center of gravity, you wanna drop it down. So drop one foot, one knee down, and the other knee down, and then just relax. Still, when you're on your knees, your legs are engaged, your core is engaged. So if you need a break, put the paddle down like this, kind of swing your hips towards the center, and just enjoy it. Now you're completely, completely just relaxed. And what's great about the inflatable is that you don't get it with a normal epoxy board, is there's six inches of thickness right here. So my butt's not gonna be getting wet. I can totally tan, relax, just have fun right here without getting wet. It's really, really nice. If you do fall off, um, we're gonna teach you guys how to get back on the board. So say you fall off, your board's gonna be right next to you because you're gonna have your leash on. This is the easiest way to get back on, but it's definitely not the prettiest. But what you're gonna do is you're in the water, you grab the center handle right here, and you get your chest on the board. Next is you wanna get your, your leg and then pull yourself up. Again, not the prettiest. You kind of look like a seal. 
but this is the easiest way to get back up. Once you get up, maybe sit down, hang out for a little bit, and then that's when you guys get back up. So these are all adjustable right here, which what you're gonna do is once you get your board, once you get your paddle, you're gonna be standing on the ground, put your paddle right next to you, go all the way up, and what you wanna do is you wanna be able to break your wrist over there. It's kinda like, ballin'. That was McKenna's joke. <laughs> but that's what you wanna do, is kinda break it right over there, snap it. It has an anti-twist, so it's not gonna be able to rotate, it won't go down or up, so it's gonna be nice and strong. If you are on the board and you're like, okay, I'm bending down really hard to like, you know, get more of an efficient paddle, just go right here, go up a little bit more. Or if you think it's too long, you can slightly go down. Two things to keep you safe. Number one, you always, always, always need to have a leash on. This leash goes about eight feet long, it's coiled. If you do fall off, it will make sure that your board is always right next to you. Doesn't matter what foot it goes on, but it goes right there, one side or the other side. It doesn't matter if you were subsurfing, you wanna have it on your back leg. What I like to do is you, when you put it on, make sure the leash is always facing out so it's not facing in. So when you're paddling, if you need to move your foot, you might be stepping on the leash. So always have it out like that. That's number one. Number two is a PFD. We just wanna make sure that we're very safe. Under a Coast Guard law, you're supposed to have a PFD on. What these are, are the coolest fanny packs around. So you wanna do is clip it, make sure it's a little snug, not tight, and it goes in the front. It doesn't go in the back, so you can hide it. It goes in the front. Why that is, if you do fall off, say your board isn't around, isn't near you, which it is, but say you just are panicking, right? You're taking on water, you're just like, I can't do this. Really, if, you're, if you can't swim, um, this is what you're gonna be using. If you fall off, you can't find your board, you can't get to it, you pull this, it will inflate, and you put that right over your head. And now you're gonna have a PFD. So, pretty slim, um, you know, it's not that bulky. We do have a couple of little bit bigger ones, but make sure it's always in the front, it's nice and snug. Pick a board out, put your PFD on, put your leash on, um, size your paddle, and we'll all get in the water and get ready to go.